Hey you guys, we're Joe Beer and welcome to the fifth video in our 2D Java game programming series. And today we're actually going to be adding in the game itself, the abstract game. And we're going to be separating the game from the game uh, container, the actual engine. So we need a class in our game engine. As always, we're going to make a new class. I'm going to call it abstract game, just because it's very descriptive of what it is. And it's not going to be a normal class, it's going to be an abstract class, which we're going to have a, I mean, this could be an interface, to be honest with you, but I like, I'm just going to do an abstract class because there's not that much of a difference. So it's going to be a public abstract void update. And in our update, we're going to take the game container. And I also want a float to DE which is the delta time. And actually, we, we don't necessarily need that because our delta time in the end is just going to be, um, is it? it's going to be, um, what's it called, our uh, update cap. But I wanted, I'm going to do this specifically just so, because doing a getter it takes up a little bit of resources. So we're just going to do that. And we're going to make a public abstract void render which will be a game container GC. And we're just going to directly give it the renderer because we're going to be needing the renderer and there's no reason to make us do a getter for the renderer every time we need it. So, boom. So let's go to our game container and update game. This is now going, oh wait, we actually have to add it. I keep forgetting. We're gonna make a private abstract game game. And we're going to pass it in through our actual game container. So we're going to say uh, abstract game game this that game equals game. There we go. And so our game is initialized. And down here in an update, we're going to do game that update. And that's going to be this. And this is going to be float of our update cap. Boom. And then we need to do render right here. So it's going to say game dot render. And that's going to be this. And this will be renderer. Boom. All right. And oh no, we got problems. So we're going to actually get rid of this public static void main because we're not actually going to start. Right? We still need to dispose. We're not actually going to start our game in our game container. We're going to make a new package. And I'm going to call this game. Boom. So now I have a new package, content module dot game. Make a new class here, and I'm gonna call it game manager, just because that's what I like to call it, which is going to extend uh, abstract game. Boom. And we're going to import it, and we're going to oh, add an implemented methods. Simple as that. And we'll make it public, static void main string args and this will be the true start of our game will be in the game manager and so we're going to say game container gc equals new game container which we need to pass it a game manager so i'm going to say new game manager Boom, right? And then we'll say GC that start, just because I don't want to change any settings. But if we were going to initialize it to different settings, we'd set them here. And we might as well have a constructor as well for a game manager. Boom, and there we go. We actually have a separate engine now. So if I was to say, uh, do, actually, we're gonna need the if statements down here for this, uh, input so i'm going back to the game container and i'm going to get a getter for my input boom and now we're going to head back to game manager so if our input if gc.get input that is key down key event.vk vk a right Standard thing, we're just testing to make sure everything's fine. 
system that out, that print line. A was pressed. 1 0. Boom. Okay. And now we're going to give this a run. Play. It works. And I hit A. And look at that. We now have our area for making our game. Great. Great. Fantastic. So. I think it's going to do it for this video. I want to keep them kind of sub subjugated by uh, category. So this was adding in their game manager area, our abstract game class. So that's going to do it for this video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.